Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Aliens vs Predator 2, this is episode 7. Last time we finally escaped that awful facility, but since the rest of our team had already gone into the hive in Operation Savior, we came back here to the primary operations complex to pick up White Team who was left behind here. Unfortunately, this place has been pretty heavily webbed over by xenomorphs, so... Who knows if they're still around. So let's load up. Light up. Okay, that one disappeared. Or it's just gonna be waiting around this corner to jump on me. Hmm. Ammo and health. See, whenever I pick up smart gun bullets, I think they're, they're gonna rush me with, like, a horde. But I'm glad to be back here, because, like I said, this area is a lot more interesting than... the facility was. Give me ruined facilities with water dripping through the ceiling and xenomorphs skulking around any day over pristine ones. Or a space station, like Alien Isolation. Pretty sure she's also voiced by Cortana's voice actress, whose name I forget. Jen something. Security station, activate automatic defenses. Well, those would come in handy. Pretty sure those are the same automatic defenses we shut off when we were going through the tunnel. Okay, this room is like ambush central. They could climb up from anywhere. Okay, I'm glad that actually caught me, because otherwise I would have taken a lot of fall damage there. Even the music is so good in these parts. Now I'm guessing all of these doors... Well, that immediately corrected me. I was gonna say all of these doors are locked, we just have to keep going down. I wonder at what point we're gonna get that power loader, Alice. You know, the one that we left on the ship with all the guns on it. There's a weird thing about Aliens and the other games and stuff based off of the second movie. It seems like the Marines ships don't actually have, like, crew? Like, you never actually see any crew. Like, in Aliens, it seems like they kind of just leave the ship entirely. There's nobody left on the Sulaco while everybody goes to the surface. So it's like, who actually flies the ship? <laughs> are, you, are you fucking kidding me? This door just crushed me. I didn't even get crushed into anything, it just opened and I died. <laughs> Most dangerous thing we've encountered in this entire place is a door. I wish we could sprint. There's a hall off the second floor that should take you to a security station. Get there and you can get the sentry guns back online. That should make things a little easier. But yeah, like with the radio filter and everything, it even just sounds almost exactly like Cortana. Like she's not even doing a different voice there. <laughs> but again, this was before Halo, so that wasn't the Cortana voice. Okay, we need to get to that door. So I guess we do have to jump across. Or was it that door? No, there isn't a door down there. Get over here. Make sure to save so I don't die. Stand back. I bet that would also kill me if I touched it. Oh, 
Well, I'm not sure what we actually turned on there, but maybe we need that to get the system online. Plenty more ammo. The shotgun also does have a secondary ammo type that I assume is slug rounds, but not sure. We only have six of them, so I don't want to waste them. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just go back and see what other doors are open. I don't think I can get up there. Maybe I can. Can I get on top of these boxes? I mean, I can't, like, vault, so... I don't think there's anything to climb up on top of to get up there. I mean, there's going to be a point where we just get rushed by xenomorphs here, right? It's been a little too quiet. I can't tell if I can activate this or not. It doesn't sound like it's activated, but it says I have partial access. That one's locked. I don't think there's any doors over there. Boy, there's a kind of a deep gap in the center if it's been filling up with water like this. I mean, that big door looks like it's got to go somewhere. Security lockdown. You should be able to do that at the security station off level two. Level two. Wasn't that the door I was just trying to open though? I just went right through. So it's not that one. It's not this one. Hold on, let me put my ear to the door. No, it doesn't sound like there's anything moving in there. So is this a security station? Because this doesn't really look like a security station. Yeah, I can't, like, undo the system. So this is good. What is it connected to? I think I might have to switch something on. Not like a little lift around here, is there? It doesn't open. Like, there's a door back here. Restricted area. Okay, I was gonna say, if it really wanted me to squeeze back here and then open this door, that's pretty silly, but no. Can't open that. Yeah, I don't know, this doesn't look like a security station. No, oh, hold on. Get up here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Found our way to go. Schaefer is all hands and no brains. I don't know why I followed him here. Of course, no one mentioned the one-way transfer policy. Got a better chance of meeting Prince Charming inside the hive than I do getting paperwork signed to get me out of here. I wonder if that's just supposed to be a reference to Dutch Schaefer from Predator. Can I hack this one? It doesn't have the icon, so I don't think so. This one I can, though. Weird. Yeah, this one just doesn't have an interact. Okay, well, we're already full on armor, surprisingly, so... Crane sequence halted. Okay, here they come. I got that one. 
Definitely got that one. I think they're trying to bust in. Hopefully the crane has made us a path. Oh boy. Yeah, you can't jump. You can climb, but you can't jump. Boy, that uh, really tore through me. Need that armor after all. But yeah, this this height doesn't really give me an advantage because they will just jump straight up. And suddenly I'm trapped in a tiny space with them. I also should maybe stop like instinctively reloading, considering we have 95 rounds in a magazine. Boy, I wish this flashlight lasted longer. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to wait for it. I think I can override that door for you. Just give me a few seconds. Uh, we don't have a few seconds. I think there's one more. Those uh, those runners really don't seem much more dangerous than the drones. Also, have we seen any warriors? I... Like, I assume we've been fighting warriors, but they kind of look more like drones. They don't have the fancy head crests, as far as I've seen. I haven't really been looking closely, though, considering how fast they are. They just kind of dart at you, and it becomes chaos. I need to pull this switch. <laughs> Security station, do your thing. Dear Rick, my friend at Whalen yutani saw your name come through the auditor list. I wanted to tell her, yeah, Rick's okay, except you're not. The creditors are still calling, so don't say you're looking to clean up. If I never see your sorry ass again, it's too soon. All right, now we pull the fancy switch. And hopefully these low frame rate sentry guns will protect us. <laughs> and not shoot at us because we're not Whale and Yutani. Hello? It sounded like it was either above me or behind me. Well, there's a vent right there, so. Wouldn't be surprised if it drops down on my head. Okay, fully loaded. Gotta make sure in case I switch and then suddenly I have to reload. No, oh, okay, the door is broken. We gotta go around. In a game like this, though, I feel like the flashlight meter doesn't really contribute much because either it's a slight inconvenience that it goes off in the middle of a fight, or it's just something that makes you stand still and wait. Oh, come on. Also, yeah, these are actually warriors now that I see them. They've got the tubes and they've got the the ridges on their skull. They just don't have any, like, texture to their skull because <laughs> this engine can't do texture. So it's just kind of smooth. 
But yeah, the runners don't seem to do much more than the warriors. They don't seem any faster, that's for sure. So now that we got that done, I think we can go down to that big door on the bottom. Which is already open. Why do I have to hurry? <laughs> if they're imminently about to die, then me hurrying isn't gonna get there soon enough. Ow. That other one's gonna break through, isn't it? And close the door behind me. Well, close the door behind me. Oh, God. Okay, let's just run. Maybe that's why we're hurrying, is because there's a lot of them behind that door now. Got it covered. I think they broke through behind me right as I did that. The music is helpful for knowing when you're about to be swarmed. Team 1 reporting. The transmitter is positioned. I have a signal, sir. Very strong and very close. All right, let's move. So they're just getting lured straight into a death trap inside the hive. And that was a combat synth. Tracking the marine expedition becomes increasingly difficult with the commencement of Operation Savior, particularly in regards to White Team. From reliable records, it's clear that shortly after the Verloc's second dropship departed for the forward pods, White Team broke off contact with the Verloc. From this period onwards, we are left with only uncorroborated testimony of a single low-ranking Marine. Given the events he describes, we find it hard to accept his depiction as fact. Simply put, we need not introduce a third species to explain the destruction of the Southern Landing. Do not kill other Marines. Rendezvous with White Team. Okay, so we're going to run into a Predator, it sounds like. And get predated. It's an elevator. It's a lot faster than taking uh, the ladder. Yeah, it's a weird thing where... At the start of every mission, my guns all become unloaded and I have to switch to them. Ooh, that's a... It's even more... God damn. Oh, I saw that other one pop out his little mouth. Um, there should be an autosave, right? 1944. Yeah, this is the start of the level. So I didn't save for a bit. Well, this sucks. <laughs> we have to go on an elevator with a whole bunch of xenomorphs dropping on us. Uh, okay. Nothing in here will let me throw flares. Let's stick them to the wall. So, uh, that was the first time it crashed like that. Hopefully that won't happen again. But maybe we'll finally get up this elevator. What I was gonna say before it crashed is, as long as we shoot the aliens as they're coming up the walls, it's a lot more manageable. Oh. I think there was a note there. Never mind, it's just a light. Okay, so we just have to shoot them as they come up these walls. And keep them from getting on the elevator. I think we knocked that one more off. Great. So if one of them gets on the elevator, totally 
fucks you over. <laughs> I thought that one fell, but it like jumped up and then back down. We'll get up the shaft though. Yeah, I thought that light on the wall for a second was a note. I'm like, oh, I gotta climb up there and read that first. I do still have four grenades. I could blow one of them off the wall. Yeah, see? That one fell off, but it didn't die, which totally screwed up my system. I'm grabbed. So yeah, they do grab you, but when the one is grabbing you, it can't damage you, only the other ones can. I think. That's what seemed to be happening there. Maybe that's what the downed ones do, is they grab your legs, hold you in place. <sighs> Well, I was doing this better before it crashed. I had a system going, we were knocking them off the walls, and then... Got fucked. I might as well just, like, quick save. Right about here. You know, like, right when it stops. Because this is going to take multiple attempts. I almost wonder if I can just... I love how they just flail non-stop once they get up here. Like, they don't take a swing at you, they just start swinging wildly. <laughs> just seems like a very un-xenomorph thing to do, as opposed to just plunging their tail into your neck. But yeah, if I don't hit them in the head when they're coming up, it doesn't really kill them. That said, standing up on this wall actually seems to be helping me, or this corner here. There's one on that side that doesn't seem to want to come up. I don't know if I was supposed to be on that elevator, or I was supposed to jump off, but <laughs> I was stuck on that little ledge I was standing on. So yeah, we only have to kill a certain number, and then something happens. The predator, like, shoots the elevator. Still, this strategy here seems to work. I say, and then immediately fuck it up by not hitting him. I don't know what I was supposed to do there, he was standing on my head. Like, my only thing there is I wish they couldn't instantly pounce the second they touched the ground. Like, they actually had to orient themselves for a second. Because they might as well just jump straight on me at that point. What if I just... Oh. <laughs> you can't stand on that ledge. So I don't know what I was standing on when the elevator fell. Okay, well, this episode was going well until we got to this really shitty elevator. God damn it. I'm too fast to jump on that little railing. But yeah, I, I can't survive if I just stand there. If I stay on the railing, I'll die. Or if I don't jump on the railing. Let's try using the smart gun for this. We have a lot of ammo for it. I just realized. Kind of forgot that we picked this up. So 
So yeah, I think we're supposed to stay on the elevator. When it gets dropped. Or we're supposed to jump over here. Luckily, I happened to be standing, like, kind of here, and I floated over it. So yeah, that worked a lot better. Gotta remember that I have this thing. Okay. Are we climbing up the rest of the way? Looks like it. I'm guessing there's no, like, ammo hidden on these ledges. That seems a little too finicky. So I think my problem there, then, was that I was being a little too miserly with my ammo and trying to just use the pulse rifle. But the smart gun is a smart choice. Especially since <laughs> we don't need this special harness or anything to actually use it. What's, uh... What's the deal there? Okay. Now we're above primary operations complex, and there's a predator shooting at me. Got something for you. I don't know if that was scripted. I kind of don't want to keep this out <laughs> in case of xenomorphs. Locked. Locked. Nope. Not locked. Let's see if there's any ammo over here. Nope. It's a dead end. My health is still very low, even though we survived that elevator section. I did kind of fuck up at one point, which is when they got on and I got splashed with a lot of acid. So, we're gonna have to fight this predator, aren't we? Unless this is the predator that you play as in the predator campaign. In which case, we probably don't kill them. Since I don't think that in any of these AVP games you kill off the character you're playing as in one of the other campaigns. Except maybe the original one. You know, the original Jaguar one. You've got to get out of there before that thing finds you. The landing bay isn't far. Should be just up ahead. Why is this landing bay so far away from the other one? I mean, I guess having a, a landing bay on top of the mountain is easier than having to transport everything up there from the ground. Okay, well, there's armor in here. I'm gonna get like a spear in the back of the head just by standing here. Cool. Empty locker. Minigun bullets. Use that. Smart gun bullet. Wait. Is the minigun separate from the smart gun? Are we going to get a minigun as well? October 8th, 2230, Human Resource Briefing. Regarding mechanical, biomechanical, and clone, please distribute. The court prohibitions stemming from Rosenblatt v. Tyson apply solely to Colonial Authority space. While the XOF operates as a licensed venture, the laws apply only within designated colonization zones. For these reasons, please limit Type 4 experimentation to the forward pods. Century guns number 5 and 6 failed again. If we weren't in the middle of an alien infestation, I'd say someone snuck in here and took the guns down. No, that's a different game. This is Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> but that's nuts. We're lucky we found the problem guns before the bugs did. Sergeant Porter. Okay, so we opened something. Probably just the way forward. Up the stairs on the right. working on it. 
Don't worry, I just have to be on my toes for the scripted sections where someone starts shooting at me. Locked. Either he works very quickly, oh or these are here from earlier. Looks like the console's fried too. You're gonna have to get to landing bay three. Hey, can you see me? Can you see that? Rude. USCM encoded transmission. January 6, 2231. Potential medevac. Message confirmed from Dr. Eisenberg. Operation Savior has commenced. Vubac and dropship number one relocating to the forward VODs in preparation for possible casualties. Okay, I, th I thought that was a cutscene, but no, that's a security monitor. Power drain halted. Okay. I guess that's just this electric bit here. Bay number two system damage. Go to bay number three to contact Verloc for Go evac. The landing bay. So does There's that mean that doors below you on the left. there are still crew on the Verloc? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Like, you have time to dodge. Don't just stand there and eat the plasma. Oh! Ow, I say, and then I ate the plasma. Talk shit, get hit by plasma. Oh! Where the smart gun works on him? Oh! Okay, that curved, so <laughs> they're homing plasma balls. Harrison, I'm picking up an energy surge just ahead. Be careful. I don't think I can kill this predator, though. No, he disappeared when I opened the door. Gotta be some health around here after that. They had to be expecting me to take a ball, at least. No health in there, just a bunch of bullets. What about up here? Oh, okay. Seems like a bit of a roundabout way to get me back up here instead of just putting like a ladder. So I could have escaped that without taking any damage if I had just shot him. Or oh. not tried to shoot him. here first. Okay, never mind. Doors locked. Not sure why they even had this one be unlocked. Uh-oh. He's right out in the open there. Thankfully he didn't stop to take a shot at me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that those plasma cannons they have, since they're independently targeting, he could have shot me while jumping without having to even look at me. This is like the perfect place for him to rain fire down to my head. At least there's no xenomorphs here. Or was that a xenomorph? That could have been either. Okay, just 
just stay up there where you can't see me. Yep, you can see me now. Well, I had a bunch more ammo, but still no health. Also, it's giving me more grenade launcher ammo, but we still don't have another grenade launcher. Oh, come on. You can't just come down here. Now am I supposed to shoot at him? Oh, I heard him. And if it bleeds, we can kill it. It's gonna be really funny when he goes nuclear. <laughs> when I fucking kill him here. The greatest hunters the universe has ever seen. Ooh, he tried to shoot ahead of me that time. Ah! Then again, in some of the AVP properties, the Predators are not nearly as invincible as they are in Predator-only stuff. There's no way I'm going to be able to hit him with this without killing myself, right? He's too close. Pretty much the same boss strategy as the power loader. I can't tell if I'm actually, like, you know, supposed to be doing this. Like, yeah, he bleeds when I shoot him. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he will actually stay dead. I might have to just run, you know, using the boxes as cover when he tries to shoot at me. So let's try that. sidestepped a little too late. I'm trying to get him to run over here so that I can run past the boxes. Come on, fucker. Because there's more boxes across from me. I think I have to kind of duck and weave like this. Oh, he pulled out his spear. Got a little too close. That door does not open. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do here. Like, what is the right play to make? I'm just gonna run while he's out of range. Shit. So I think I have to fight him then if all those doors are locked. Which is not great, when I have 17 health. And he can just one-shot me. Ah! Ugh. I don't remember what number the smart gun is, so I was trying to switch to it. This is kind of a good place to fight him, but the problem is, if he hits even near me, I'm dead because of the AoE. Because there's a wall right behind me. Just 
have to kind of get the timing down for his plasma. I'm gonna be very disappointed if he is unkillable and I end up just wasting all this ammo. Okay, no chance to self-destruct that time. Yeah, fuck you. Fredhead. Okay, now can we open the doors? I've killed the predator. <laughs> Fucking shit. I didn't save after killing the predator, god damn it. Yeah, he like pulls out his wrist computer to aim his gun. It's really funny that like the phase two of this fight is he walks slightly farther away. I didn't give him that time. Nice crotch plate. Now I'm gonna save. And we're going to, uh... Well, kill these Xenomorphs as they kill this other Marine. So yeah, as I expected, the Predators in this are only gonna show up as boss fights for the other two races. Because they are kind of OP. They don't really have any disadvantages. Yep. I set those charges right. I don't like this one bit. Standing like five accident, feet away man. from an Rykoff's egg. Rykoff's leaving us to die. You picked a hell of a time to be right about something. Look at all those eggs that they just ignored. Also, if you were wearing, like, a metal face mask, would that make you immune to xenomorphs? Or to facehuggers, rather? Because they can't stick their little ovipositor through it? Alright. Well, we're gonna wrap up here because we've made decent progress, and I think we're nearly at white team now that we've defeated a predator. We are truly now the universe's greatest predator, and we've earned the mark of the hunter. So until next time... Y'all take care.